Hey guys, um, must apologise about the bad lighting in the bed. Bits and pieces in here, but I'm trying my best here to show you. I've got a bit of a torch at the moment happening just so I can try and get some light up in here because it's so damn dark. Okay, see the silver bolt on the left? That fella's got to come out. He holds the horn in. When the horn comes out, it's going to fall down. There's like a little lug on the right hand side that it clips into. It'll make sense when you're sitting in your hand. That silver bolt down the bottom comes out. And on this side of the bike, um, that silver bolt comes out. We have a look at the top. silver bolt on the right side comes out. All four bolts can all come out at once. The radiator won't fall down. There it is. Let's see if I can get it up in there. That bolt there, there's one of those on each side. They stop the radiator from falling out. Once you've got the radiator, um, the four bolts for the radiator out, um, the radiator won't move anywhere but the, um, the horn will fall in and hit the floor if you've got no wires attached to it like mine because they run back to the air horn and go through a relay. Um, to put the bolts back in, oh, oh before you put the um, the radiator grill in in the bike, those two long pieces of foam, you got to chop those up into some 10 millimeter squares, which I did, and I ran it all the way around the outer edges of it. The only thing I consume that they're for, they're for is to stop the thing from rattling and vibrating because if the guard rattles and vibrates up against the radiator it's going to put a hole straight through the radiator. Which kind of defeats the purpose of putting them on the first place I suppose. So, once all four bolts are out you put your foam in the corners of the, the radiator grill. Um, I did this corner first, I then went across and did the upper the other upper corner, that one up there, and then I did this one down here, and then I left the horn until last because you need you need two hands in the corner. You need one hand to hold onto the horn, um, and you need the other hand to be able to hang onto the bolt and try and get the thing inside. Um, the instructions also say you need to pull the fairings off. Stuff to find no why, no need to. Um, so, yeah, As, again, I apologise for my, for my bad recording and the bad light, but hopefully this makes a bit more sense, but there's no need to pull the fairing off. It works pretty well, um, or, or should I say it fits pretty well, and it can be done in 10 minutes. I hope that helped you guys. Cheers.